Welcome to the first in-detail video about the MPEG-H authoring plugin, or also called mHappy. I'm Yannick from Fraunhofer and in this video I will show you how to set up a session in Pro Tools. The plugin is also available as VST version for all supported digital audio workstations. If you did not download the plugin yet, just visit our website, as you can see here, and download the tool. So here you get more information about the plugin and you can register and then basically download it for free. With the download, there are template sessions for different platforms. So if you open the Pro Tools template, add some audio tracks and a video file, this is how it looks like. For this demo session, I use a 5.1 plus 4 immersive mix with three different commentator language. So in this blue tone here, this is the 5.1. In this color, we have the four additional height speakers. And in red, we have three object tracks, English, French and German commentator. The audio tracks are already bounced, but that's basically just the output of a 3D audio panner. This reduces a bit the complexity of the session and let us focus more on the important MPEG-H authoring steps. And by the way, every 3D audio panner of your choice can be used for MPEG-H. The mHappy is located on the master bus. Imagine this would be the output of your 3D audio panner. But first, let us have a look to the Pro Tools I.O. settings. Important is the bus structure. We are using the third order Ambisonics bus to in and output up to 16 audio channels to the mHappy. Very important is also that this is not related to Ambisonics at all. We're just using the 16 audio channels provided by this bus in Pro Tools. With the two mHappy bus, we are sending individual audio tracks to the plugin. So make sure that you created all subpaths of the third order bus as well. With the from mHP bus, we are sending all signals out to our physical outputs. So that means actually our speaker or headphone output. In this case, we are using a simple two channel stereo. The 5.1 plus 4 out can be used for an immersive setup, which we don't use here. The third order ambisonics bus, called mHappy, is receiving the bus to mHappy. And the output is basically going to our physical outputs. So let's add the MPEG H offering plugin to this bus. And what we can find here is covered in the next video. So stay tuned.